body bags were whore lies. Who is this irresistible creature who has an insatiable love for the dead? Hey guys, welcome to week 19. Happy Thursday everybody, this is your fright chick speaking. Okay, so I'm sorry if my camera's messing up, it's going all fucking snow white again on me. That's why there's no top of my head. Okay, so I have chosen probably the only, like the second time I've done a movie from like the last year, um, the new Carrie, 2013 Carrie. I've been waiting to see this since freaking January of last year. Um, and then I got really pissed off because I thought it came out in October. But apparently that was only for you wonderful Canadians and Americans. And I had to wait another month and I was pissed off. So yeah, I eventually have seen it and now I can review it. And oh my god, it is good. Okay, now there are going to be spoilers in this. If you haven't seen Carrie, where the hell have you been? And if you haven't seen the new one, I just, I really want to talk about the differences between the 76 version and this version. So I'm sorry, there will be spoilers. There won't be many though, because trust me, there aren't actually that many differences. So... Uh, in this one, we have Chloe Grace Moretz, who I freaking love. Um, I, I loved her even before, like, Kick-Ass. She's great. Um, she plays Carrie, and her mum is played by Julianne Moore, who, of course, everybody's seen in various things here and there. Um, who else we have? We've got Judy Greer as well, who some of you might know from, like, things like Cursed. Um, she plays uh, Miss Desjardins. Um, and the girl who plays Chris Harginson, I don't really actually like in this. I think they should have made her blonde as well. And they should have made Sue Snell brunette, but they didn't. They got it backwards. Anyway, so uh, the basic story of Carrie is that she is a telekinetic girl who uh, discovers her powers um, in her late sort of mid-teens and her mum is the biggest religious fanatic going and she's forever punishing her daughter for things that are just normal and then she, through this oppression, discovers she has a telekinetic ability and tries to harness it and therefore get rid of her mum and try and be normal. She gets invited to prom, as not as a joke, but they do chuck a shitload of pig's blood on her at the prom and she goes fucking mental and kills everybody. So yeah, uh, there are some pretty iconic scenes in the movie, you know, that they repeat in the 2013 version, you know, like um, the uh, throwing Carrie in her closet moment, the creepy Carrie, creepy Carrie, that stupid little kid on his bike that deserved to get thrown off. Um, we have obviously the prom scene, which I was most excited about seeing in this. I couldn't wait for it. Um, you know, you, it, it really does follow the 76 version almost to a T with the script. I mean, I was quoting, my boyfriend has never seen the 76 version. He didn't really want to watch this version either. He's like, oh, is it going to be crap? I was like, no, it won't be crap, trust me. And I started quoting it along and he's like, oh, have you seen this already? I was like, no, 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 but I've same as the other one, you know, same stuff. Uh, yeah, the only difference is like, obviously, we're in the new era so in the shower scene when obviously she's having her first period and they all start freaking out and chucking things out they film it on one of their phones and then later on it gets used to embarrass her kind of like in Carrie 2 the rage Carrie 2 similar thing to that yeah I think they drew on that uh, yeah so there's some really like similar um, I must admit though the entire movie up until the prom scene I really didn't like that much and I was really gutted um, it kind of lacked something I don't know what it was uh, the shower scene was wasn't very convincing it wasn't really as good as maybe the original one was even the 2002 one was better and that was shit uh, yeah so that didn't impress me very much um, like I say I do really like Chloe Grace Moretz and I do like Julianne Moore but their performances in this movie were not all that like being the characters they were meant to be they didn't really live up to what i think they did in the 76 version like piper laurie and sissy spacex portrayal was very good and even though it was the first one to come along so technically we have to compare everything to that i still found the mum to be unbelievably creepy in her belief and obviously Sissy Spacek did a really good job of showing Carrie to be very vulnerable even though she had this immense power you could tell that it was very unstable 
you know, every time she used it, she used it at extreme moments of emotional instability. Whereas in this one, she kind of stands up to her mum pretty quickly. She doesn't really seem that scared or bothered by what her mum does. And Julianne Moore doesn't pull off this kind of, you know, I'm happy all the time because I do believe that I'm, you know, blah, 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 with, with God and all that, you know. And she, she's just very flipping dark the whole way through. And it's just like, um, I liked Piper Laurie's kind of crazy, maniacal, you know, I am right because I say so type thing, you know. Uh, so yeah, I wasn't impressed with that, but they did a good job. They still did a good job, but it wasn't as good as it was. But yeah, I mean, you get through the movie, you get through all the basic bits, you know, where Tommy and Sue cook up the plan to invite her to the prom to make her feel better. Spoiler alert, they throw this whole pregnancy plot in with Sue Snell. So basically, she's pregnant and... It all kind of comes out towards the end. It doesn't really go anywhere. It doesn't mean anything. But they threw that in. And I was like, well, what the fuck was the point of that? You know, they didn't have that in the first one. They didn't have that in the second one. They don't need that in this. I don't know why they threw that in. Were they trying to do a thing about teen pregnancy? I don't I don't get what the hell that thing was for. But yeah, so that was in it. <laughs> Not really a spoiler. It doesn't mean anything. Nothing happens from it. Uh, okay, so to the prom scene. Now, I was waiting for this. And I'd seen clips of it and I was like, holy shit, this is going to be great. Now, my boyfriend up to this point wanted to pretty much kill himself. He's like, this is boring, it's crap. I was okay with it. And then the prom scene came on and they just chucked the blood on her. And she like, obviously Tommy gets hit with the bucket, etc, etc. And then she freaked out. And it was the most fucking epic five minutes of my life. <laughs> I swear to God, you have to watch this movie just for the prom scene. Oh my God. And preferably, if you do have one, watch it on like a huge TV. Or with like surround sound. Because it was flipping epic, I must admit. It was great. And I would happily buy this DVD just to watch that one scene. And even the aftermath, when obviously she then pursues Chris and Billy Nolan... In the first one, it was a, it was over kind of quickly. There wasn't really much revenge justice, revenge slash justice. In this one, she gets a decent feel of revenge slash justice with those two. I'm not going to say how, but she does get her own back pretty damn good. And it was like, you know what? Fuck the rest of the movie. This whole five, six, seven minutes was totally worth it just for that. I loved it. Yeah, so that was Carrie. Um, I read on Wikipedia a rather disturbing fact, and that was that they were originally going to give the role of Carrie to Lindsay Lohan. <sighs> no, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking with that one. I mean, really? Lindsay Lohan? Really? <laughs> Carrie? <laughs> I mean, we saw what happened when she tried to get into horror movies. Have you seen I Know Who Killed Me? I have that shit on DVD because I actually do love Lindsay Lohan. Like, pre-messed up, you know? I mean, I've got no sympathy for the bitch now. But yeah, I, like, I don't think so, no. Nah. Yeah, so that was Carrie 2013. Um, I don't really want to give away the complete ending because I've given away enough spoilers and there are some of you out there that won't have seen Carrie. Um, but for those of you that know the ending, it's pretty much the same. It was better in the original, but it was the same ending. So yeah, that was my review of Carrie 2013. And I will see you next week for week 20. Christ knows what I'm going to do. Probably curse a Chucky. But uh, yeah, so I'll see you then. Bye.